Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory, where last time we completed our nuclear power plant's control room, complete with item monitoring systems, valve controls, power switches for every part of the plant, and finally a handy dandy to-do list, which is all complete, which means our nuclear power plant renovation is done, the plants are running, and we can move on to new projects and never have to worry about this one again. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finally start to move out of our starter warehouse here. You see, the entire point of this building was just to allow us to get to nuclear power and get that super plant done. Because now we have infinite power and can literally do anything. But before we can move forward, we need to go back, back to the past. Back to update four. Because back then, we are working on the first version of our main base, which we'll be completely redoing by the way. But inside it, there is absolutely going to be a storage room of some sort. So we need items for this storage room. So secretly, behind the scenes, i.e. on the Twitch streams, I've been working on a project. A project that we would have completed until Update 5 came out and kind of threw a wrench in things. But the project was the complete exploitation and harvest of the Blue Crater Lake biome. And we actually got quite a few things repaired. All these things would go onto a train, then to our main base, and then our storage room. And I also collected the 2,550 oil that's lying around in this biome, along with all the necessary sippy drink. I was well on the way to having this all processed. But this was with the old technology. And now we're in update five, baby. So I ripped up everything and we're gonna build it back better than ever before. So if you have toes, remember to leave a like. And also we're gonna be trying something new for this factory. And we're gonna build things very differently. Instead of going full on brutalism, I wanna try and build something futuristic looking just for fun. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try and build circles. I have adamantly avoided circles since the game's inception. We have squares, why build a circle? Foolish idea. But we have the technology now to do it. When you hold right click, you can like do these very technical angles and stuff like that. And it makes life a million times easier. And since we're making a fuel power plant, I wanna try and make small circles, kind of like fuel silos. I've been playing a lot of City Skylines and there's some cool silos in that game. And I'm kind of inspired by that. So a silo here, that's relatively small, and then another one beside it, so another three, one, two, three, in the middle, and then three forward, and I think we're only gonna have room for two silos. So like two silos, just like so, and maybe like an entrance or something over here. I'm not sure. Difficult part, how do you build a circle? Hmm, can't be that difficult, everybody's doing it. Yeah, just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, the other thing, yeah, yeah, we're getting these circular, right? But then what about this part? Mmm, mmm, okay, maybe, maybe not super simple. What if we go like this? Oh, <laughs> well, well. That kind of is working. Actually, you know what? There are a lot of people that have built with circles before, and I'm sure there's a tutorial online, so super quickly, let me find one. Here we go, Mr. Total Eclipse. Good pal of mine. Makes good, satisfactory videos. Look at this thing he created. It's beautiful. In fact, it's partially the inspiration for why I want to build in a futuristic manner. But anyway, we're watching gorgeous factory design tips. I'll just have this in the description and I'll give this a watch and see if there's any circular stuff. And the last thing that I wanted to do was show you how to do circles. Of now course, this is the last uh, thing. Here we five. go, the money. This is really simple. All you need to do is grab a foundation, place it on top of a current foundation and drag it across four. And you can actually do this the other way as well. So further three. And what we're going to do okay. here is grab a a wall, place that down. We're going Roger. To do the same on this side, and we're going to paint the wall. 
And then we're going to delete this middle one. So we have three delete either side of the middle ones um, been removed. We're now going to go back to oh! the middle and we're going to move holding control one place in one direction. We're okay, my controls are different. I hold right places, click. And then three in the other. And then in the other. Oh, place. this makes so much this sense. So you just do this a million, there. million times. It's going to take a bit of time, but we're going to repeat this over and over. I'll let you see the time lapse and you'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, how did people do this and before update five? Wow, the, uh, this the looks amazing. In the center, just to create this nicer looking circle without the blinking. We can see a little bit there, but generally speaking, this is much better than it was before. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Total Eclipse. That will help me considerably. Also, the other tips in this video were fantastic. So again, check out the link in the description. Okay, so I was kind of on the right track, just doing things in the worst way possible. <laughs> but it was working. So this is significantly easier. Okay, so we do that. We zoop one way. We zoop the other way. I guess we zoop in all four directions right now. Sure we do. Delete that. Do it again. And... Oh, that's interesting. If you're looking at the sign of another foundation, the foundation that you want to twist goes on 45 degree angles. But if you look at the bottom of a foundation, or I guess the top, sorry, you can be more precise. Interesting. That will be handy for later. But for now, I got a lot of zooping to do. And now look, chat. I'm a changed man. I have built a circle. One entire circle. It used to be two, but the two, not a good plan. You want to build circles pretty big, because what ends up happening on the outside is there's a tiny bit of overlap, and the smaller the circle is, the more this overlap sticks out, and it can get pretty bad. And this is already kind of eh, but when you go far away, it's hard to notice. See, it's looking pretty almost normal, right? It kind of changes up the game plan, though, because initially I wanted to have little oil tower things on the left and a building to the right, but now it's just like, this is the main thing now. And I have to work with it. So we'll have this just be glass. We'll have some kind of design here. And then somehow later on, we need all of this oil stuff to mix in with what's going on on the right here. Where we have like a train station, some simple production, and we're gonna have the rest of our factories. And you know what's futuristic? Ramps. Ramps and angles. So we can do something like that, then we could have some pillars underneath, and zoop it into that. And just because we're building futuristically doesn't mean we're not gonna use concrete, are you kidding me? Not using concrete in update 5? Not a monster, okay? Absolutely using concrete. And honestly, at this point, we're just getting a little creative. Having the one big circle really wasn't part of the plan, so this is gonna be kind of weird. But what if this goes up at this point? We'll make that an upside down ramp as well. Then we just add in a billion walls. Because the deal with this factory is that we need to process oil, right? And the machines are huge. I think if I did my math right, we're going to need 143 of these refineries and then another 23 blenders, which is like, it's gonna be crazy. So the circular part here is gonna end up being a little bit shorter. Maybe we'll have like blenders nearby it. And we'll have like this first floor be blenders. And then this tower part that we're building now, that's gonna go to the moon, will end up being all of the refineries. Because you better believe 143 refineries is gonna take up all the space in the world. And design wise, how is this looking from the outset? It really looks like a coffee mug handle. And then the circle is like the mug. Uh, huh, we're gonna have to change that. But before we do, let's mess around with a circle a bit more. Yeah, this this has to be windows. Either this is gonna be concrete walls or it's gonna be windows. Because the concrete blends in together. It... Oh, that doesn't look good. That ain't it, chief. Maybe I should've made a bigger circle. What about glass? Glass. Just add in the glass. It's all gonna look great, right? It's not gonna look great. I goofed something with this circle. I think I added an extra platform. Maybe I... I don't know what I did. But the pattern is all, like, messed up. What's going on? There's, like, these beautiful, like, lines in between. 
but then stuff like this happens and the pattern gets ruined. How am I supposed to fix this? Look at this! How do you repair? Hmm. You see, we'll just make it back into concrete, and it's fine, everything's fine. Just don't look at it too closely, it's just one giant concrete column that will go up to space. Sure, why not? Didn't want it to be glass anyway, this is always the plan, smile. Yep, actually, no, it wasn't okay. I don't know what to do now. It just everything has become chaos. Because if this is all gonna be concrete, then we have to have glass stuff over here, and I want to do some cool design, and I want to have, like, layers, and, like, the pillar thing that I was having going this way made everything look like a coffee cup now, because that looks like the, the cup, and this would look like a handle, and I don't want a coffee cup building, and then I tried 15,000 designs with triangles, and I'm losing my mind! So it all gotta go. It's going. Goodbye. No more circle. At least not here. We will have a circle. Just... It's... It's just not working here, man. It's just... It's, it, it ain't happening. Spent hours on this and <laughs> I've tried a million things. Just can't, can't do it. Can't do it. Not here, not now. But sometime in this build, we will have a circle. Mark my words. So, you know what? Let's just take a quick, quick little break here and figure out why the heck our nuclear power plant isn't making an extra 150,000 megawatts. I kid you not. I honestly thought we were done. We have, what? We have nuclear fuel rods all over the place. So, we have the control room now, so we should be okay. By the way, added in a U jelly pad for when we fly in here. <sighs> anyway, we can monitor what's going on. Maybe, huh, that's unexpected actually. We have plutonium fuel rods and nuclear waste still moving. That's super interesting. Our consumption of power is pretty high too, so we know that the nuclear power plant should be running properly. It's just not making power. Usually I know there's a big problem if the power consumption is like 50,000 megawatts, but it's not. Everything's full, everything's just stopped. Uh huh, and the nuclear waste was moving. And oh, oh, these fuel rods aren't moving. Wait, we saw this problem when we first entered. These are going to the nuclear power plants. Why aren't they? We know the power consumption is pretty good, so the water extractor should be on. Wait a second. What? <laughs> oh, past Kims, you are a you were a treat sometimes. You know that? You are you're an absolute treat. Oh, and you know what? With that dealt with, let's check out some of the new game updates. They added a bunch of new stuff recently for the experimental build. And I think they added a big color thing as well. Not as familiar with this, but if you have like a block signal... Ah, uh, yeah, this is it! You can visually see the colors of the train blocks. So it's way, way, way easier building these now. So you can tell this is like a blue block, this is the red block, purple block, green block. Much, much better. So if you don't have a functioning train system yet, now it's way easier for you. But I was actually more concerned with the stuff in the awesome shop. They added in new building materials and a floor hole, paper tube thing. I don't know, I can just show you. It's not an architecture, walls. Ah, hyper tube floor hole. So now you can effectively make elevators very, very simply. And in the customizer, there's now asphalt for roads. Give me that buy it go figure it looks fantastic looks like a proper road there side of its concrete good and if we had more you could effectively make highways all around the map we have those road barriers as well the painting tools as I mentioned dude these are gonna be great can we zoo please we can zoo please yeah we are 100% having a road system somewhere for something this is all too cool now but today's focus is the refinery stuff, and I got a pretty cool design in the works here, but the nuclear power plant keeps calling us back. I have never seen this before. So back to the control room. What is happening this time? Well, that's always a horrific problem to, huh? to see. The nuclear waste is backing up, but it's still moving, and there's still plutonium fuel rods. Well, 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 more new problems. Let's see why though. Hmm, is there more Caterium? No, it's fine. And things are kind of moving. They're just moving slowly. What the heck is going on? 
Oh, weird. I see what's happening. We don't have any more heat sinks. We ran out. So the factory is just running through the last of its supply right now. So that's weird, because all of our trains are running. How would we run out of heat sinks then? Oh, wait a second. I know what's going on. It's not the trains. We're not making any heat sinks. You know what happened? I'll show you what happened. Right there. It's actually just a little development goof with update 5, where they deleted the new box eight nodes that were added, and then they replaced them. So all we have to do is replace the uh, miner here, and the box eight from here makes the aluminum for our heat sinks. Now we'll go back to our nuclear power plant and everyone will be happy, everything will run, and we will have no more problems again. Okay, and that was a good detour, let's get back to our building. And I got a way better design cooked up this time. The circle's gone, we kept the cool angles going, and I have a plan. Yeah, sometimes building doesn't go right. Sometimes you gotta restart. Sometimes you need to take a walk and think things through. And oh my goodness, things are gonna be so much better now. So we're going to keep building the blenders on the main floor down here. And then we're gonna have to have another floor above this because I don't think we can fit in. 23 blenders on one floor yeah no this is there is no way maybe we could fit like 10 but yeah this will be two floors and with this crazy design we got going here this pillar is gonna go to the moon this is gonna be part of a huge new tower but underneath here is gonna be clear so this will all be in the open where I'm flying will be some blenders kind of in the open air as well and then right underneath we're going to start building roofs here. Roofs specifically. Then on top of the roofs and inside the new tower, we're gonna have some walkways just going this way. And then finally with the customizer, we're gonna make all these roofs glass. Check this out. We have now built effectively a control room where reflections aside, we'll be able to see all the blenders moving and grooving. And we can make this side of the wall all glass. Behind us can be a little control room. It's gonna be nothing compared to the nuclear one, but we'll have a couple levers and pulleys. And next we just build some tower going all the way up. And since we're building up, we have infinite space to make all the refineries. And you know what's actually really funny? I just realized how I got the inspiration for this design. It looks like a bike frame. I was on a walk and I saw some guy riding a bike and I just put one and one together. It's a bike frame. <laughs> Weird. But at least now the design is really moving. Like, I I'm pretty much know what we're doing. I started doing measurements where we have some of the refineries here, measuring up all the floors we have to go <laughs> to make this tower. And it it's gonna be a pretty tall building. Pretty tall building. A lot of refineries to build. And I was thinking, where are we gonna build a circle? Well, we have this weird concrete pillar going over this way to a slug and then to a circle we're gonna have this circle over here like i was saying before we're gonna have a lot of processing for all of the biomes other resources so we'll have a factory kind of squared out behind this circle and the circle will be like the front window and this time i actually made it properly i added in an extra platform to the last one but this one it's all good the glass window pattern is perfect and after building a circle properly i'm at you know what i'm a fan I'm a fan. I think it's gonna look fantastic. I had to do some slight modifications to the rest of the build though to make things fit properly. So now we have an extra beam kind of going over this way, connecting to the bottom part of the circular area. And then we have one on the top here. So a little bit different, definitely looking more like a bike frame. <laughs> like this is the seat and these are the handlebars, but I don't care, I like it. It really got that futuristic vibe that I was initially going for. And I would say, for now, we're done. We have our base design. We have the giant window, tower. We have this extra red part that is going from up there. Kind of like cuts in behind and goes down there to the ground too. Along with those windows. Ah, and it's looking great. It's very futuristic. And I can't wait to start working on the actual oil production. Because this whole wall is just going to be full of pipes and wires and belts and just stuff going everywhere we'll have like a proper train station over there and oh, we could have walkways going through this part what do you think mr slug this is pretty good yeah i think it is and even the nuclear power plant is getting back to normal 
It's just gonna take a bit to get to full speed because it has all the excess nuclear waste from the heat sink problem to go through. But anyway, I think this is a great place to wrap things up. But super quick, thank you so much everyone who supported me on Patreon. We have over a hundred patrons over there now, so thank you for all of your support. It's really meant the world to me, guys. But anyway, that's gonna be all here. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye